How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back a little bit of a hot butcher up in this piece in the form of their Gardenario? Gardenario? Did I get that right? I don't know. Um, this is a Citra Eldorado and Mosaic Hopped Double India Pale Ale coming at 7.5% alcohol by volume. This is packaged a month and a half ago. And it comes from Hot Butcher. Thank you very much, fellas. And uh, yeah, fresh citrus. Sweet tropical. Light resin of the tasting notes that they always do in the back of their uh, cans. Uh, label wise, it's a, it's a Jets of Jam, so I'm a fan. Good beer. So we'll see where this one lands. I'm sure I butchered the name on this. So Now there's a bunch of fruit on here. Fruit and veggies. No, oh, veggies actually. Celery and there's peppers and there's onions. Um, and they talk about fresh citrus, sweet tropical, and light resin. I hope I get some kind of vegetal, green, grassy, onion skankiness on this. Anyway. Yeah, dig the label, beer-wise. Looks all the part of a big old hazy. Actually, it looks more like a, like a rich, dense, like 8% double IPA. And, uh, yeah, soupy. Soupy. Potato leek. Not turkey gravy. Let's put it that way. It's a good nose. That's a nice nose, man. I mean, it's rich. It's dense. It's thick. It's throwing a bunch of, like, multiple different fruits at you from their stone peachy fruits to a nice over-ripened kind of mango, kind of sweet tropical fruitiness, this citrus orange leaning kind of richness. So it's definitely a sweet, big, bold, rich kind of double IPA. What I want at 7.5%. With this fluttering light, not, not overly resinous, at least on a nose kind of greenness going on here. So kind of a fun nose here. Let's dive in. Cheers. This is delicious. This is like quintessential. Now, we're a month and a half old. They talk about light resin. I guess you could talk about light resin on this. We'll talk like our NPR voice with that light resin on this. But it's it's, it's barely qualifying for... Meh. Let me take another sip. I think it might build a little bit. This is quintessential New England style IPA where they're trying to drop out all that bitterness. There is that lingering bitterness. Around the edges, that's your what they would call um, classify as light resin, but it's all this rich, decadent, fruit juiciness that's going on. So this is New, New England through and through. It's just that running the gamut from the, the oranges to OJ level stuff to that peachy juiciness to that rich kind of tropical fruit from your star tropical fruit to your kind of mango and just a very over ripened but not overly sweet it kind of toes that line that's a very easy to cross a lot of these big huge double ipas are over attenuated and end up becoming off ultra rich and ultra sweet this is sweet but appropriate level sweet for the impact that's given me let's put it this way it's hitting above its weight class it's 7.5 percent this is the kind of flavor impact i want from eight and a half that i want from nine percent so not only are they giving me it that abv level of impactfulness that i really kind of honestly kind of hold all these kind of hazy ips up to as, as far as a marker and what they're good and good at doing and what they should be good at doing and just exceeds that kind of level of impact in a very very tasty way i don't think they're doing anything super crazy hot fuck duckery pop butchery here um other than the fact that it's delicious uh, more often than not and it's kind of you know what these good hazy breweries do it's just really tasty this is like you know what this is, is it, how do i put this what do i want to pick this is a uh, you know this is a a slice of pizza in new york you know this is this, this is a, 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 a you know double quarter pound of a cheese from mcdonald's this is a jack of the box this is an in and out burger this is a five guys this is the you know those kind of things where no one's going to sit here and tell you that you know the five guys burger or the in and out burger or even that you know that that that's that generous slice of pizza on the street in new york is the best pizza in the world but if it fills a certain role um, they, those junk foods, those fast foods fulfill a certain role to where they're just nature, just viscerally delicious in, in a, in a very just almost desserty kind of way, even though they're more of a savory dish. 
And that you're not going to sit here and say, well, that's the best of the best. You know, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, what's the one thing I love? Oh, they're so good. The fucking biscuits from fucking Red Lobster. Oh my God. They're so good. They're so good. In no way, shape or form would I ever call them the best bread product I've ever eaten, but they're just effing delicious. Why? Because they probably have MSG and butter in them, whatever. I don't care. They're delicious, but I'm not going to hold them up on a pedestal. The best version of that made in the world but sometimes you just want tasty and this is tasty af there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with just wanting just deliciousness and that's where this beer kind of lands not rewriting the record books not changing what i think about ipa just give me a copious amount of juicy hops i hit and slap super hard that fun little kind of drop out all bitterness thing with that lingering again i'll say they're right there a little bit of soft resinous floating around the edges and a really bomb mouthfeel it, it's delicious is it one of the better double ipas of that is really yes mount rushmore says viscerally yes mount rushmore says is delicious delicious um value availability hop butcher can be had the prices are typically good so let me know what y'all paid for this and leave you with if you like what we like this <laughs> just like tasty freaking beer tasty hazies if you're a hop thought haze bro you're in the hazies this is your jam you will love this you will love this beer so there we go review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know if you've had this please and thank you um down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massif if you want to check me out doing the podcast and stuff we talked to jeremiah and jude several times Go check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully enjoying a little hot butcher right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.